Hello and welcome to this video. Usually, me and everyone else on this platform that does bookish videos does a 20 something books to read in 20 something. So it like matches, you know, with a year. So everyone right now is doing 23 books they want to read this year. I'm not gonna do that. I have done it almost every year since I've been here, um, but it does not work for me. I never complete the list. Sometimes I've gotten close, but I've never completed the list. That might be normal, but it bothers me. <laughs> so I decided to make life easier and just choose 10 books that I want to read this year. Um, and they're also themed around like, I need to get to them ASAP because they've been here forever. So let's get into it. The first three books on this list are the first three books in all the Brandon Sanderson books that I have that I haven't read a singular one of. I think this is where you're supposed to start reading from his books. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, they are humongous. They're 700 pages-ish, each of them, which is lovely, honestly. So yeah, we're gonna try and read this this year because I, I have a lot of Brandon Sanderson books and I haven't read one. That's a problem. So yeah, we're gonna read these. I don't know what they're about, only that everyone loves this. <laughs> I'm scared of this. The next three are also a humongous series that I've had for a long, long time, which are the Assassin's Apprentice. I don't remember what the actual name of the series is by Robin Hobb. I've had this for a long time and I still have not gotten to it. Don't know why, mostly because they're humongous. Um, but this year we're gonna put some effort, hopefully, into my reading. Again, don't remember slash know what these are. Um, we can look. Oh no. I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> because I just read the back of it and I don't know if I'm gonna like this because it's about politics. Which I usually don't enjoy in books. But whatever, we're gonna try and read them, at least the first one anyways. Um, oh no. <laughs> I really should try my best to actually read what books are about from now on, maybe? The next three books are the three books in the Bone Season series. I think there's more books. There is. There's a fourth one. I forgot the name of it, but I know there's more. But I've had this really, I don't know since when, probably like 2019, maybe? I don't really know. Um, I'll probably put it on the screen if I find that information, um, but I've had them a while, that that at least I know. I don't even remember what this is about anymore, but I know that I like Samantha Shannon because of the big boy. I need a big boy up there. I loved Priory of the Orange Tree, so hopefully I like this too. Um, I'm not gonna buy the rest because I've decided from now on not to binge buy a whole series that I might not like because that has happened a lot. We're gonna give these a try. Hopefully they're fun. That would be great. Don't know what they're about. Love that for me. Wow, that was so fast, so fresh, so fun. Um, last book on my list is yet another book I've had for a long time and I'm kind of scared of reading now because I hated Game of Thrones and for some reason this series gives the same energy to me. So yeah, but it's only one book. It's The Hobbit. I'm never sure if this is part of the Lord of the Rings series or if it's a standalone companion novel, whatever it is. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien or Tolkien. I have heard multiple ways to say this. Whatever. I have seen one movie. Um, that's it. That's all I know about this. I don't need to explain what it's about, I think, because it's so well known. Um, the fact that I even know that his name is like Bilbo Baggins says a lot that it's popular. Anyways, I want, I've had these, they're over there, the rest. I've had these a long time. I've never even 
considered reading them. Um, they're just vibing on my shelves and I don't want them to vibe anymore. I want to, them to be read. So we're gonna try this year, even though I'm really terrible with completing my own lists of shit, but we're gonna try our best because it is half, less than half of what everyone else is putting in on their lists. So let's see if I can do 10. I can't be bothered to pick all of these up because they're heavy because nine of them are fat books. So you're just gonna have to see them like this. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, those are all the books that I am putting on my, like, actually want to read set TBR for the whole year. Even though, again, I don't follow TBRs, even my monthly ones, so we will see how this goes. Don't have expectations, if you do, of me actually completing this because I have a feeling I might not. <laughs> this was a really fast video for some reason, uh, because I don't know anything about books and it's just series. And it's 10 books, so yeah, whatever. But that is everything for today, and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!